everything. All right, guys, we are back in Introduction to JavaScript, the um, the kind of the introductory, basic, more basic JavaScript course that Code Academy has on their with their new rework site. We're on interactive lesson or variables, rather their interactive lesson. So um, I'll try to be as detailed as possible, as this is an introductory course, and you may uh, need a little bit of help with this. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Cool. So if you don't remember from our last um, video, a variable is basically something you store data in. It's a crucial part of programming. Uh, so we're going to create a variable here called strength. Now we're going to assign it equal to a string of 57,000 pounds. So keep this in mind. Keep in mind that this is these are words, not letter or not. Um, these are words and not a number. So we're storing a variable here called strength with the string value of 50,000 pounds. So what we want to do now is go ahead and console out console log something out. So if you remember, we can actually console.log several things out. So how much stuff can a variable hold? Notice how we're gonna put a extra space at the end for good formatting. And then all we have to do is put a comma, strength, and then put our variable. So it's gonna print out this first uh, data and then the second bit of data as well. So we'll see in the top right here, once it runs, eventually, any day now. Uh, let's see, they may not have liked that we use single quotes, so we'll have to change this. Now, typically in JavaScript, you can use either types of quotes, but uh, keep in mind that uh, sometimes in Codecademy's IDE, they're not a big fan of you change this up. How much stuff can a variable hold? So you see right there, there it is. How much stuff can a variable hold? And then we have a little bit of a space. And then our our second part of that is the variable that we inputted strength. So we're going to create a new variable called age. And we're just going to store a number in this. Now it knows it's a number just simply by the type. And we'll go ahead and put in 21. It's a good good number. Um, actually, that's not my age, so we'll go, we'll go with my age, 28. Console.log out age. So we're just going to go ahead and console.log out age as well. So you can log out just a variable as well, which you'll be doing a lot in your code when testing it. Um, looks like we want to create a variable here called has pet. And we want to set it equal to a boolean and we'll set it equal to true. Go ahead and run that. So variables, uh, just a little note here, variables can hold any data type. The data types that there are, you have arrays, with the, which are objects, you have um, booleans, you have strings, you have objects, you have probably you have undefined um, there's there's quite a few which I believe undefined if you look at the type might actually be an object um, but that's more technical stuff don't don't worry about that right now so we're gonna go ahead and create a variable here called morning alarm just really getting comfortable with creating variables and because the syntax wanted us to do it I usually use double quotes no real reason other than that's what I do uh, but since we're using Codecademy's IDE we will go ahead and do that so we notice the camel case right here camel case is where basically you have two words starting on the second word you're going to capitalize the letter here so if this was like morning alarm night we would capitalize the end um, so something to keep in mind you definitely want to follow the standard naming convention you can also reset the value of a variable. So originally, our when we set the value of morning alarm, it would be 6.30 AM. 
It is actually 1 a.m. right now. So we'll go ahead and do that. It is quite late. Um, but that's what I get for drinking energy drink at like 8 p.m. at night. And then we're going to go ahead and console out the value. Make sure we understand what we're doing here. Again, we can output data in our console. Multiple pieces of data. And we'll go ahead and console that. And we'll put morning alarm. Wham, bam. And now when we run this, it will then output our data correctly, which is 1 a.m. because we reset the value here of our variable. All right, so we're just going to create a variable here called favorite animal. Again, with the camel case. And my personal favorite animal is a cat. I am just a fan of cats. <laughs> so, um,. We're going to then go ahead and Ooh, excuse me. we are going to constant out log out our favorite animal. You'll notice I'm doing this on line three because we're going to reset the value here. So we want to do the first value, my favorite animal space and then comma. And then we want to have our second input or our second input or our variable favorite animal and we want it to come out koala so all we have to do here is go ahead and reset this equal to koala just going to run that so you'll see we get the correct output because we reset the variable here with our code so let's see what's going on here Did I spell something incorrect? It looks like everything's... Then you just call sprint. What are we doing incorrectly? Use the plus operator. Okay. So instead of a comma, what we can actually do here is we can use the plus operator to combine the string. That's what's going on here. It will come out the same. It's just a little bit different. Typically, this is how I'll do it. I find this much more intuitive than with commas. So cool. So what did we learn in this, this um, introduction to JavaScript uh, variable section? We learned a little bit more about variables uh, we learned how to reset the value or update the value would probably be the better way of saying it. We also learned that we can use the plus operator when when creating strings and logging strings to combine variables with a direct hard-coded string to make a new string. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon. And thank you to those of you that do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing, so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.